Hey, what's up, YouTube? So this is gonna be part seven of the MR2 K20Z1 build, and uh, we're gonna start doing the wiring. So for some people that don't know, the 05 and 06 wiring harness does work on K-swaps, but a lot of people just don't know that K200 is out there, um, and there's jumper harnesses as well that you can do. Um, but this one, I'm gonna make it simplified as best as I can. Um, so what I want to do is just start off with the main wires that I uh, I can tell you guys off of the MR2. So right here is going to be our alternator um, power source. So this will come directly off the alternator. And then this wire right here is the wire that tells, that gives the signal uh, to tell the alternator to charge the battery. So. Let me go ahead and show you where that goes on the C101 plug. Um, it's going to be number 14, which is the same color, uh, yellow, black. So that is basically that shows you how the alternator will be done and basically ready to charge the battery. Um, the wire is going to come from this charge harness. So what I like to do is I like to just cut it from like right here since it's a little bit too long anyways. And um, the charge wire is gonna is usually white, or it's just completely black. But the one that's the starter um, is gonna have a yellow stripe on it. So, as far as that, um, we'll go with the starter too as well. So the other starter wire um, is gonna go to this right here, which is directly off the starter from the MR2 swap. So you just connect those, and your starter will have its straight power. Um, the other wire you would need uh, off of the MR2 for the starter is this red wire. So this is going to be the starter signal switch, which is going to go to a relay, which I'll show you guys later how um, to do that. So what you're basically going to do is this is going to be the signal power. We're going to use one of these right here, which do not have to be fused um, for the actual power. And then right here off the C101, this is our signal that goes straight to the starter. And you just connect this to the um, output signal of the relay. And then we just have a ground and then we should have starter. So now that we got starter and our alternator taken care of, we can go to fuel. So fuel is gonna be our blue with the black line. Um, Instead of me doing that off of a relay, I'm doing it off the original harness, which is going to be this relay right here. So I'm gonna supply power to it. And that will give me the prime. I should be able to get prime without having to keep uh, the fuel going. Cause uh, I don't really like the fuel to just keep going while the car is off. So just a little bit better, better wiring setup. So that's gonna go to this yellow with blue stripe. So, other than that, we need to get the power to the ECU, which is going to be uh, this wire right here, um, this wire right here, this wire right here, and that's actually oil pressure. Um, and then we have one off the E-plug, which is gonna be this wire right here. So that's gonna be switch power. The rest of these are going to be switch power except for this one. So that's going to be our constant power, it, meaning that it always stays on all the time. So uh, we'll run that to a fused um, wire and we'll be able to get our ECU to have power. Um, other than that, that's the basics. I mean, that's the power to the ECU. You got power to your fuel pump. And then you got your starter. Um, next, uh, I'm not gonna actually do that until I actually get the exhaust and everything for the O2 sensors, but uh, the O2 sensor wiring is far as what I did my research on is this green wire, which is I believe number one, I guess. And then you got this white wire right here, which is like a ground that goes to the relay. And then I believe these two are the input and output signals uh, to let the O2 sensor know what's the voltage and everything. Um, other than that, that's the basics for getting it started. Now, as far as the gauge cluster, 
you got um, oil pressure over here which is your yellow and red and then uh, the difference between the 05 and 06 is the speed sensor output is actually on the e-plug so it's gonna be blue and white still same color and then the rpm is going to be uh, solid blue and then our check engine light is gonna be green orange so as far as our cluster we'll be wiring these three wires and then oil pressure straight to the cluster to get check engine light oil pressure tack speedometer and then we're gonna tap off of the actual car to get the gauge cluster for fuel and then this green white wire is should be our communication link if it's the same as 0204 but we're gonna run that straight to the cluster as well and then that'll give us our battery power light and our temperature so um, that's it's that's pretty much it guys for the wiring but I'm gonna go ahead and start um, doing step by step and then also on when doing the starter the transmission needs to be grounded so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a relay and that's what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna connect the starter and uh, basically just go over each step by step of what I was just talking about right now so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the starter first and then we'll continue next to what we have to do for the wiring all right so now that we're back we're inside of the trunk this is usually where the starter relay is this is the factory one so should be pretty easy that red wire that i showed you earlier is our signal switch so it just goes to the red white wire um this is our ground which is white black and then our output signals are exactly the same color so black with the white stripe same as here on the c101 and then our direct power is coming off of this black wire right here so it's pretty simple guys as far as that i mean um let me show you what else you need to do so now that the signal is actually wired now we have to connect a ground to the transmission so we got that on there just a 12. let's put it right here for now and then we powered our remember i was saying the black with yellow stripe is our starter and then the other black is going to be alternator i went ahead and connected that for right now um i still haven't connected this wire yet but we'll get to that later because that's not what we need to start the car right now um so power is connected straight to the battery to the starter so the starter has a ground it has a direct power and it has a signal going to a relay so that is all you need to uh start well at least to get the starter to work not to start it sorry so let's make sure everything is okay i don't have a cluster right now but you should be able to hear it So that's it guys, we got the starter to work. So hopefully yours does too, if you follow the instructions correctly. Um, so the next thing we need to do is we're gonna look for a switched ignition. So I'm gonna go through, let's see, probably these wires right here and, uh, or this plug. I know Booster Boys was using one of these back here, I think off of this wire but not for sure exactly which one because some years are different so i'm gonna go ahead and figure that one out that way we can put a um you don't have to put a fuse on it since i think it's already fused but just cautionary i'm gonna throw a few 30 miller a 30 fuse on here and uh we should be able to get power to our relays for this stock ones right here that way we can get fuel and then we can power our ECU. So after I do all that, we'll be able to see exactly what else we need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and find this wire real fast. We'll come back, put a fuse on it and uh, get some switch power to the ECU. All right, so I got the ECU just in here to see where all my wiring is gonna be going and how I'm gonna run it. But let's get down to the wires that I found. So. I found the white wire that came off of this plug right here. Um, you can see, uh, with this up top, it would be, I guess, the fourth one. Sorry, I can't really. But yeah, it's below 
this one and that's your alternator wire so the wire below the alternator wire is white on this plug this year that's my switch power that i tested and so i got it to fuse uh, and I, I did my main power as well so i got my main power that stays on all the time that's gonna go to this wire right here um black and yellow and then the other three i'm gonna be able to tap well no i'm sorry that's just for that one the other three are right here so um these three right here i'm gonna tap to the white switch power and then with that i can tap my fuel which is this one since the relay should be working and that should go to the blue and black wire. So we should have fuel. And then after we connect uh, the three wires right here and the other main switch, we should have power to the ECU. So I'm just gonna go ahead and connect those for now. And then um, we'll come back and show you what else we need to do or what's basically gonna be left to get the car to start. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect those real fast and then we'll come back. All right, so now we got our fuel pump wired up to our, um, basically our yellow blue wire. I checked that for power. That relay is good. All relays are good right now. So ECU has power. Um, those three wires I connected it to switched and then the black one straight to the main power. So that's basically our memory wire for the ECU. Um, so I still have to tap this into the alternator, but I gotta go buy some T-taps. So I'm probably gonna leave that for the next video, uh, which I'll be doing the fuel system. Uh, and then we'll be connecting our cluster, which is gonna be our oil pressure, tack, speedometer, um, check engine light, and then our communication link for the battery and temperature. Um, and also these are wires that you probably won't be, well, this one definitely doesn't be used at all this red, white wire. And then one of these goes to fan and the yellow one says it's not used. I think it's communication wire. So, uh, this one would go to a fan switch, which this one's already been tapped for the fan already. So I'm not going to be doing any of that. Um, but as far as this, that's it guys. Um, if you want, let me, like I said, I'll go back and show you. If you wanted to just do a regular relay, which is like this, so just let me give you guys an example. This would be um, our signal wire from our starter, but it can also just be a signal wire. So um, what you would do is that white wire I found, that would be um, the signal wire, the one that I supplied to these three wires right here. So that would be signal. This would obviously still be ground and then output input so this power you still use and then whatever you're trying to power output would be like say if you wanted to run your fuel pump this would be your output if you wanted to run your ecu this would be your output so um that's basically it if you're trying to just do a relay period and you're not really sure how it goes it's it's simple just ground signal output and a straight power which you can get you can use off the alternator wire I showed earlier earlier as well, if you wanted to just do a straight power off of that. But yeah. there's two wires that comes from the fuse box, so you can use that as well. Um, yeah, so stay tuned guys. Uh, next video, we're gonna do fuel system. And then uh, we'll make sure that this thing starts up. I just gotta put another ground over there and then a ground on the intake manifold and uh after that we'll throw a little intake on here and get it going so next video uh which will be part eight i believe we'll get the car started so stay tuned guys if you haven't liked share subscribe comment let me know what you guys think um if you need to get in contact with me it's k serious works on uh, instagram or you can email me at honda.mike1988 at gmail.com and i'll see you guys next time